Well, it looks like we're getting a break from this hot weather for a little while. It's raining this morning. I'm the only one up. I'm sitting up here in my bed doing some subtitling for the next vlog. I'm encumbered at the moment by this mouse. Look what I'm having to use. It feels really awkward and clumsy, but I had a bit of a mishap with mine. This is my normal one. Now this bit works fine. The only problem is my poor old laptop took a little bit of a tumble yesterday and I frankly can't believe it's still working. Where the bit of the wireless mouse was in the USB port, that got absolutely smashed in. It, the top of it got broken off and what was left of the insides was wedged in there. But I managed to uh, get it out with a pair of pliers. These are the poor sorry remains of what smashed off it. Uh -oh, now this was what was left of my mouse. I might try that actually, see if it'll work. There's a risk it won't come out though. <laughs> That's what was on my disk drive there. Let's come off. There were also lots of little tiny black shards which went in the bin. There were sharp little bits. It was smashed to smithereens. This is what happened to my poor old laptop. Yesterday I was having a quick tidy up because I had some people coming round and I put my laptop on here. Now at that time that wasn't sloping. <laughs> Seemed like a good idea and it was fine. I thought to myself, could that possibly fall down that hole? No, surely not. I tested it a bit, it seemed really sturdy, it wasn't slipping, so I went downstairs. And while I was downstairs chatting away to the people that had come to the door, after about 15 minutes there was a series of very loud thuds from upstairs and we all panicked because we thought the children might have hurt themselves, so we went upstairs and found my laptop which had apparently slipped off there the bags had all condensed down under the weight of that book and the laptop and it must have gone over here landed down there bounced and it was literally on the floor in that bedroom down there i cannot believe it still works but i've smashed off loads of bits off it the insurance rang me back today and i'm not covered apparently i don't have accidental cover but that's okay to be honest i probably would have paid more over the years for it than I would have got for it anyway. So anyway, it is much later now. We've done some school and we're gonna head out now to a class. He's just making the most of the time on the train here as he's doing some work. And I've got my new academic diary, because I tend to have academic diaries. Maybe it's a homeschooler thing, I don't know. It's my old one. I'm just transferring some details into this one and also going through my electronic diary on my iPad, which obviously goes into the future indefinitely. I've just been putting all the term dates in. This is kind of handy, even though she doesn't go to school, because I like to divide up the amount of work we've got to do by the number of weeks, official sort of term weeks. Obviously we do bits in the summer and at the weekend and in the evenings, and we take days off during term time, so it's a bit of a rough guide. Um, I just like to gauge how much would be expected, and you know, so I've got a bit of a reference there. And also we know when clubs and classes run, that only run in term time. Just a quick stop to change trains. Next one's coming in six minutes. I'm actually chilly for the first time in about three weeks. It's definitely cooling down. That's Izzy dropped off yet again. Are you seeing a common theme with these vlogs yet? <laughs> She's dropped off and I am off to an Asda's to see if I can pick up a replacement mouse. I don't know why we've got all these leaves here. It's July. Looks like autumn, doesn't it? I've come into Asda's to look for mice, but I'm totally distracted. This is really light hand luggage for 27 quid here. Just investigating it. Apparently it's got fiberglass structure. Cabin size, but I don't know, it's very strong. Hmm. Maximum cabin size. It does say that it applies to most airlines and obviously they vary so you've got to check. Nice comfy handle. I feel like I'm doing a product review here. <laughs> oh, that comes out, yeah. The wheels look pretty good. At first inspection, what do you think? Would they cope with Lisbon cobbles? That's the question. Come on, Emma. Walk away from the flight cases. You don't need them. <laughs> so where are those mice? Let's find the electronics bit. It says PC accessories. Micey, micey. Where are you? Oh, here we are. Aha. Uh -huh. Ideally, I want a nice little natty one, to be honest. I can carry around in my bag because I quite often edit on the train and in cafes. Decided to go for this Polaroid for no particular reason because I'm not much of an expert. I like the one I had, to be honest. Here you go, mousy. You're coming home with me. I got myself some groceries while I was in there. Didn't want to waste that opportunity. 
Now I am starving, so I'm going to go and find something to eat. I just had a scrumptious dinner and I'm just sitting here catching up on the 8 miles from home vlogs before I go and get Izzy again. I've treated myself to a nice hot chocolate here. I don't have them very often because I can't justify the calories, but I have done quite a lot of walking today. I don't know what just happened to my phone. I think it just thinks I'm talking to it. Very strange. I can feel my teeth furring up. Yeah, look, told you I'd walked a lot. 9,400 steps according to my sweat coin app anyway. <laughs> come on then, let's go and get the girl. The sun's come out again, it's beautiful. It's a little bit of a breeze. I was just stopping to look at these buddleyas here. It's just a little one. I love buddleyas. So do butterflies. I've also noticed there are some black blackberries already in the bushes. It is still looking rather autumnal underfoot though, given that it is now July. I'm a little bit early getting Izzy. I'm just sitting here in the waiting area for the parents. I'm a little bit of French. Vous avez offre de l'avion. I've got a girl. Woo. We're waiting for the train now. It's coming in a couple of minutes. I must say, I really prefer doing these group and class runs in the summer months. Much preferable. Izzy will be very pleased to know that her favourite brand of crisps, such as Walker's, is on multi-buy offer as there's three six-packs for three pounds. Because normally I don't get them because they're too dear. She's sitting all the way over there, look. Getting some peace and quiet from mummy. She's poking her tongue out, but I just want to get the her background of the outdoors in. How did you shoes, Izzy? They're comfy. Good. Getting comfier day by day, I think, as she wears them in. Look at this old weighing scales here. I'm so heavy. She is 23 and a half stone. <laughs> no, actually, you've got to put 20p in, and we're far too stingy. Ah, oh, finally got a seat on the train. Feeling a bit of a greedy gut here for the whole seat for my trolley, but all so crowded. Everywhere that wasn't on a seat was in the way of people trying to move up and down the train. Izzy's just sitting behind me. She's engrossed in Doctor Who, I think, and she's having some tea. There she is. Not going to get any sense out of her. I'm lost in the world of Doctor Who. I shall get back to my French book then. I love this book. Um, I've mentioned it before in vlogs, but I'll put a link to it in the description again. It's called Unlocking French by Paul Noble. Um, this uh, little paragraph here typifies what it's all about. Now, as I've said before, please don't try to memorise these phrases or even make any effort to remember them. All you need to do is work your way through this book and follow its instructions. Everything introduced will come up again multiple times. Sometimes you'll forget things as I introduce new words and constructions. But this is all part of the method that I'm using to teach you. It does give you the phonics. Look, I've just blown this up to show you. Like, ici, travailler, manger. But it's not the same as hearing it, really, is it? But honestly, I think this is an invaluable resource. Yay, time to get off now. There's one thing I can say about myself and that is I certainly make the most of all these little idle moments on trains and waiting for trains and waiting to pick Izzy up from groups and waiting around while Izzy does her groups. Top immo tip on trains. I always have a little look between the seats here because change drops out of people's pockets. And look, today is no exception. What have we got down there? Oh, something's glinting, looks like a coin. I was grabbing my hat. Ah, oh, I can't quite get it. No, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Wait for it. I think it's a big one. <gasps> wow. Did you find that? I did just find it. Woohoo! Profit. That worrying moment when something's fallen off your trolley and you're not sure of where it's fallen from. My uh, bedroom is relatively tidy at the moment. I say relatively. Because obviously trying to get the house in a good condition to sell. Hello, Flute. Yeah, I'm gonna spend some time with you now. It's not too warm today, but it is nudging 30, as you can see, it's about 28. I've just opened that window a minute to try and get a bit of cooler air in. I'd had it shut because it was raining earlier and I didn't want to go out all afternoon and uh, risk coming back to a wet carpet. Right, so we're from Flandai. <laughs>
Now the trouble with quite a lot of this stuff I'm trying to memorise is like this one, <laughs> there's a vocal line so it's like a dialogue with the melody playing instrumentalists in the band. So there's like a bit of singing, there's a bit of melody, a bit of singing, a bit of a melody, and so on and so forth. So it's not like just remembering a song all the way through, which is easy, you get it in your head and you can play it. It's remembering which bits I'm not supposed to play in. So I just got to memorise it. So I have the music here and every so often I'm like checking <laughs> and going astray. Ah! I have got a whole album's worth of stuff this to learn in this manner and I've got about two or three weeks left to learn it because by that point I'm going to be in France with a band on stage performing it and I really really do not want to be reading it I really don't because that's just the worst thing ever if you haven't internalized the tune you just can't become it and project it properly and perform it you know it's not the same if you're intellectualizing about the thing it just switches off the performance element. Do you know what I mean? So I've really got to commit this to memory. <sighs> I'm on to my last one now. It is getting a little bit late in the evening. Sorry, neighbours. The only consolation is that I'm in the loft and there is not actually a loft conversion on either side. So I'm really hoping that the volume will be kind of like a low television kind of volume. Sorry, anyway got to be done though. Right, last one and then I'm done. I have absolutely whizzed through that last one. Now I think I've gone through the entire set except Invisible Boyfriend tells me he's arranged a few extra instrumental numbers but I think they're ones that I composed the tune of some years ago so hopefully I don't have too much learning to do with that and it's just more a matter of consolidating the arrangement comes where and if there's any twiddly bits in between and louds and quiets and fancy endings that sort of thing. But anyway, it being approaching 10 o'clock at night, I think it's an appropriate time to end the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a like if you liked it, because it really helps the channel to grow. Uh, comment down any thoughts below. Do you play an instrument? Do you ever have to memorise stuff for concerts or gigs or anything at all? How do you do it? Any tips in the comments? That would be great. We can all look and learn from it. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to follow more of these adventures and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye! <laughs>